wrong. But die so that you can have an opportunity to come back to the Father. If the churches teach this and stop teaching getting money, we have less atheists. Christ had a function before he came into the earth. He was always the pleasing son to the Father. We don't. If ye had known me, ye should have you should have known my father also. But the world didn't know him. The world didn't know him. Christ came into the temple and turned the tables over the, over in the temple. You know why? They were selling and getting paid in the temple. Christ came with a whip and started whipping them out of the temple. If he was here today, he would walk in your Leroy Thompson uh, 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 ministry and whip those preachers out of the pulpit. Your creator for a dollar, he would whip them out of the pulpit. They had to kill him because Christ was going against their money. They were selling sacrifices to the children of Israel. In the temple making money, the same thing we see in prosperity teachings today. Y'all should go inside y'all churches, these prosperity churches, and take a belt off and beat these pastors out of the churches. That's what Christ did. How can you not respect someone like that? He wasn't bowing to these Pharisees and scribes and respecting them. They, even, they tried to pay Christ off. Well, Christ, why don't you come and sit up here with us? They wanted to use his healing for money. Christ says, listen, man, you guys are already whole. I'm here for the sick. You already think you got it. So since you have it, you don't need a healer. You don't need a physician. I'm coming out here to the poor and the people that know they need a, a doctor. That's what's going on in these churches. They think they've already healed. They've already made it to heaven. I'm saved. Christ is not in there. Christ is not in these churches. I'm still waiting for a preacher to get on a pulpit and teach the principles of Christ on one of these services on Sunday. And one of these services. Every sermon I see is talking about sowing seeds and getting money. Every sermon is about getting your money. They'll tell you, well, brother and sister, you don't got to follow the laws contained in the Bible. The laws are done away with. So look at your pastor and say, okay, I don't have to follow the law. I will not tithe to you anymore. I will not tithe to you anymore. Because the tithes was in the law and the Levitical priesthood of Aaron and Moses. Hypocrites, robbers, thieves. Christ said, you turn my temple into a den of thieves. That's why, brother, you become an atheist. Because you don't see Christ anymore. You go to church and you see more mess going on in the church than outside of the church. You see more mess in these buildings. Then you, then you see, you might as well take your chances out, outside, brother. You go in there feeling good with the organ and all that, you come out with light pockets. And no understanding of the Most High. You mean to tell me serving the Most High is just giving money? Oh, I can pay my way into heaven. Lord, what is the cover charge to get into heaven? What is the cover charge? What is the cover charge? Just give me a blank number. Let me just cut a check. You done turned the Most High into a club. And he's angry, man. The earth is evidence of his anger. Everything is wrong because no one's listening anymore. Christ came to set it straight and his servants are in the earth. But you won't hear his servants because you're used to somebody walking around with the best suits with the best shoes, with the best cars, and the jets. When Christ made himself low, 
He made himself common as the common man to show you there's something deeper than money. It's your spirit. That's right. You waiting for you waiting for a servant of, of Christ to step out of a Lamborghini or a Rolls Royce. When Christ came out of Jerusalem, which was the lowest parts of the earth. It was the lowest parts of Israel. Christ came out of the ghetto. He made himself common. No one had the power of Christ. And guess what, brother? If you don't believe me, you can go Google Roman history of Jesus. <coughs> if you don't believe the Bible, it tell you in Roman history that Christ performed so many miracles, the Bible cannot contain them all. In Roman history, if anyone could have gotten paid off of Christ, he could have. He could have gotten paid. But because they cannot use Christ's power for themselves, they wanted him dead. And you preachers, these politicians, we know they're sitting up in their little offices planning on what they can do to us. And we're exercising our free speech, but they're planning what they can do to us because we are walking in the same vein as Christ. Christ was a spiritual revolutionist. He was against the status quo. He was showing people that something is wrong and you should be aware of that every day. And the first thing that's wrong is what's in us. What's in us? The sin that's causing us to fall and not be pleasing to the Father. And churches are feeding that spirit. They're not cleansing you from that spirit. The most I'll tell you about being greedy of filthy lucre. That's right. That's a sin. Thou shalt not covet. Covet is wanting everything you see. Or want what belongs to someone else. Do they not teach that in the churches right now, brother? Man, look at my car. Mm. God, I've heard ministers say, God don't want no broke man. I've heard them say it. Christ was broke, now what? Hello, that's right. Christ was broke. He purposely made himself common. Then they tried to get Christ with taxes. They did everything to try to jam this guy up. Well, he's not paying his taxes, Caesar. His own brothers ran to Caesar. And Christ said, listen, man, who's inscription on the money? Render under Caesar what is Caesar's. Go down to the water, look in the fish's mouth, and grab a coin and give it to him. It's their money. Give it to him. They went against him because why? He was bringing the spirit that we should be following today. That's why you became an atheist. I'm going to show you Christ was here in the beginning, brother. Read, the, read John 1 and 1. Read. John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. Christ was here in the beginning. Read. And the Word was with God. And the Word was with the Father. Christ was with the Father from the beginning. Before He came in the flesh. Read. And the Word was God. The Word was a God or an Allahayim or power. Read. The same was in the beginning with God. He was with the Father. Your spirit was with the Father in the beginning. The Lord is not making new spirits. Every spirit that came come in the earth now were with the Father in the beginning. They come to the earth in their appointed course of time. When the Lord said in the beginning, He created the heavens and the earth, spirits were created in the beginning. So there's no new spirits being created. They're coming in the earth according to the course and time that the Most High decree. Read. All things were made by him. All things were made by Christ. The Father never left the throne. He don't have to. In the beginning, when he took the spirit of his son out of himself, he looked at his spirit and said, you know what, son? Order all things for your father. That's what makes him the first begotten of the father. Mankind became corrupt. So who can do it better than our Lord? Who can correct the sins of Adam better than the son who ordered all things from the beginning. That's why Christ had to come into the earth to correct 
the sins of Adam. Man had opportunity, and we failed every time. So he sent his son into the earth to show us a pattern of how, how to walk and what's pleasing to the Father. Now you, you're without excuse. You can't say that you don't have a pattern or a way to follow the Father because he sent his son.